What's up guys? Welcome back to Gentry Insights and welcome to another video. So guys, we're gonna just do a cool old OG Gentry and Sons video today. So I don't know why. You know, this is the videos that got us started. This is the videos that got us to where we're at on YouTube. And this is the videos that people seem to enjoy and I don't, I'm sorry that I haven't been, you know, a lot of stuff I don't post anymore. I don't put up, you know, you can see a lot of bull crap and this and that. So I kind of just, you know, stood back a little bit. I wanted to get Weston's truck done, get that off my shoulders and just kind of step back a little bit and, uh, and regroup and get back to our old ways. And that's where we're at today, guys. We are on our way to uh, to Knoxville. Oh, there's some good looking trucks over there for sale. Mm. All right, so we're on our way up here to Knoxville to pick up a truck. I just bought this truck and uh, we got a major problem going on with it. <clears throat> so the driver's going down the road and hit a pothole and it shoved the axle up into the little pan pushed all the oil out of it and it burnt the motor up and so that's what they're saying up here so we sent it up here to Stowers and Stowers is uh yeah we sent it up here to the cat house and that's where we're headed right now we're headed to the cat house to get it but they're saying the motor's burned up in it and it's got an Acer cat c15 so i bought this truck super super cheap enough to where i can just stick another motor in it and Get it on the road. I'm either gonna flip it, sell it, do a giveaway with it, or use it. I don't know. Yet. I hadn't decided. Um, it's hard to run, you know, these old school big Peter builds with the stuff that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get really good fuel mileage, and a lot of my stuff runs out west. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the truck yet. We are going to get it fixed, get it running and driving, and I might make one wicked Acer single turbo, 800 horsepower monster out of it. And then I might just put it back to factory and, uh, you know, do a twin turbo deal. But they're saying the turbos are burning up in here. So I don't know. I do have a set of uh, Acer turbos. But I don't know. I really like a singled out um, Acer or 6NZ. So we'll see what happens. We're going to go get it picked up, though. We headed over here to the cat house. And we're going to get back to the house and get back to our place. And... Hopefully, it ain't as bad as what I think it is. Hopefully, it's this the simple fix. Just put it back together and put some bearings in it and something like that. Because the truck had a new motor in it. This motor ain't got a couple hundred thousand miles on it on a platinum in frame or uh, out of frame, platinum out of frame. So, anyways, we're headed up here, guys. To get yeah, babe, we got the wrecker. So guys, that RPM gauge is not accurate. I'll just go ahead and tell you. Feels good to get back to our roots. Uh oh, we got some accident here. Or they just parked there. This is a bad road. A lot of people wreck on this road. This is Rutledge Pike here in Knoxville. Just fully serviced the wrecker from front to back. All new oil, fuel filters, rear end transmission, clutch, brakes. I mean, the whole nine yard, guys. We completely went through this thing and it is doing awesome. I ain't never even checked that. You see if it works. See, cool. Oh, I heard something click on out there. Let's see if we got cold air. I would be so happy. Dang, I think we do. All right, guys, we made it up here. We just gotta find a truck now. I don't know where it's at. I don't see it anywhere. Looking for a Peterbilt, boys. Man, that is 
We got a big operation up here. Two big oversized right there. So we need to be loading up today. Don't be over looking at them. God dang it. Guys, I love. I love hauling stuff. But my problem is I want a piece of everything. I don't want to just do one thing. I want to do all of it. And there's not enough meat to go around. But the guys are out doing a kick butt job. Dad's hauling his first oversize in four years today. And he's doing a really good job. I'm really proud of him. He needed a break from this place, and uh, he got one. Went and did some hauling. All right, guys. Found the truck. Oh, that's a sweet trailer. I guess we'll just jank her from behind. All right, boys, look at that. New tars. We got us a Peter Bill. There's some things we got to fix on it, but here she is. You guys probably remember seeing a video about it when we worked on it last time. Oh, this is gonna be a fun project. What are we gonna name this thing? I have no clue what to even name it. Two more pallets that go with it too. Oh, there's three pallets? Yeah. Oh, there's the head and Yeah, the head and that's all the other parts. So it's a party part. Yeah, the cam is junk on it. Needs a cam, I believe. Well, seen that. I can't remember. It may. It, this may not even been the one that needed a cam. Well, from what I was told, it needed uh, turbos. Maybe, maybe got the turbos. Yeah, I think so. Um, turbos. I don't. They act like it's a whole motor. So. Yeah, I don't. They don't need I just. We'll figure it out. Well, guys, we got her hooked up, but we got to deal with this. There's no radiator intercooler, nothing in here. The AC condenser's still in there. You guys can probably, I don't know if you can see in there or not. Maybe a little bit, but the cam's out of it, cam gear. I mean, they've got this bad boy gutted. So here's all my parts. Here's the head. I got to come back up here and get all this stuff. I wish I'd have knew that before I came because... I wish I had a daggone called up here and just asked if I needed to bring a pickup because I really wanted to put this thing back together this weekend and hear it run. So if I can even get it done that fast, I don't know if I can. I've got a lot going on. If all everything lines up like it should, Dad's on his way home with that big boat, so I've got to go move some stuff in the parking lot. But besides that, if everything works out, then I should be able to... Uh, Pull this thing in, yank the motor out, and get the other one put back in it. All right, guys, so I just found out this head ain't no good. <laughs> well, you'll have one Look at it. See, it turned, see where it turned it red? I guess it spun a cam bearing in the head. So, I'm saying the head ain't. But, oh well. All right, guys, I appreciate it. I'll see you Monday. Yeah, come back and get everything now. I ain't got a good daggone head. Um, I ain't got subs. All right, looks like we're good to roll.
man, oh man, I was really counting on having a good head. All right, boys, let's get this bad boy home. Guys, we got the boat in here, got it parked for the night. That man Steve is working on. We got another big haul to go do. We really needed this trailer for, but we're gonna try to make it work with this trailer. I've hauled some big stuff on this thing, so I think we can make it work. This is what we had before we had the nice stuff. Or the big fancy trailer. All right, we're at 40, 43. What did we need? We needed 43, right? 42, so we're good. Yeah, might have a little bit hanging off, but not. Not enough to worry about. Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, we'll be good with this trailer. I mean, it's gonna be super wide, but oh well. Light behind, it's hard to see it. 
Yeah. Got it back left. Gotcha. Good job, Brax. Good job, buddy. Golly, bum, that's a beautiful ride. I gotta fix them lights. I ain't going to tonight, but before the week's over with, it will have new watermelons in it. I can't handle that. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Guys, we just didn't see no point in driving both trucks a thousand miles tonight. We're trying to save fuel and have two drivers in the truck. Because uh, we are leaving the very last minute. Yeah. We should say it had a diesel on it. Yeah.
When it caught on fire. It fell off and it flashed a quick fire. I would say so. Oh, it even turned? Yeah, it's turned. Yeah, it did turn. Maybe. Honest, I was thinking run a chain from that piece where you got that strap around that stand for your, where your bag is. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. This would be. Right there, you can grab that right there. Set my plans tonight. We're supposed to be in Texas. There's a leveling valve on this one, front or rear. It bags up. They're not up. Well, you just yeah. put that. Didn't, didn't you turn the air off to them? Huh? Didn't you turn the air off to them? Well, I jacked it up. All the air came out. And it hissed out. Let me go see if I got them set. It might have popped the valve in there. They're not. Popped it first time. Well, they're down. I gotta check. I don't think I said them. Nope, she's got air and she's released. Now, fine, that's the other thing I'll tell you. When we stopped, I put my hand, I checked the temps just by feeling. All the other hubs. This one was warm. The other two were cold. Well, it could have been. Was, this one's probably pulling back, maybe. That all depends on how tight you got the brakes. Too. Well, I adjust the brakes. And I adjust mine looser than you guys, so. That's where I'd put mine as half turn. They're iron up now. Yeah, they're iron up. They probably go, gotta go a little higher than normal because it's jacked. You're gonna break that ratchet strap. That thing's done. Yeah, that thing Mess it up. You usually hold your brakes and back up and lift it. Back. Oh, that's what you're trying to do. Yeah. Well, that's nice. All right, Steve, let's ride, buddy. Let's go we'll see if we can turn this rig around. Uh, you can leave them on till we turn around. Just leave them on till we get turned around. Let's rock and roll, buddy. Oh, baby. Steve don't know what to think about how calm I am about the situation. <laughs> oh, but Holly, tell him, say, stuff just happened, Steve. Tell him, say, stuff just happened. Look, Holly don't care. She ain't upset at all. She knows how to handle the stress. Absolutely. She just goes back there and wags her tail. Good life. All right. Back on the road. Go get her load. Man, this ain't a job.
job I wanted to have an issue with. getting ready to get it all apart you say it's cooked i got some of the nut off i'm gonna have to cut the rest of it off it's this stuff so i'm gonna try to call the axle search and see if he'll come over and put me in spindle on it either way crap happens you're fixed and you're back on the road Get sideways and just mailed it on the look. Alright, guys, we tried to pull it off with the skid steer, it did not work out. So the axle sergeant's coming tomorrow, which he's used to this stuff, so he'll probably be able to yank it right up there, and he might actually be able to save these threads. We didn't cut into the threads, so that's the hope. So my, I guess what I'm going to do is just switch out trailers. I didn't want to have to do that. I was hoping to be able to take this one, but I'm going to switch out trailers. We've got to get this thing down to 15.6, because we can't get it through Connecticut over 15.6. So we're gonna switch trucks out, see if we can't get it lower. That is it high in the back or in the front? No, in the middle. <clears throat> so it will drop down to where we need it to. So we drop the front of the truck, it'll come down. So if you measure it right now, it's either 15.6 or 15.8. Right now. If you got iron in the back. No. Oh, there's still iron in the back. Let me let the bear. Let's measure it now. I know what we are when we're dropping. Well, that's fifth wheel. That's the bottom one. Oh, thank you. That's where this trailer should sit on another truck. Yeah, I'm hoping. This is where we measured this at the truck stop. All the bags down, and we were 15 six. The trailer down? The tra everything down. Yeah, with the trailer. The trailer's not down now. You need to let it. Now we need to leave it up. Is it down? Let's 
see if it's down or not. It's down. fall off that thing. Alright, we're having to re-hook to a shorter truck. Maybe. Oh, that's much lower. Yeah, that's way, way lower. You had to drop off. That's way lower. We should be able to get just high enough to get off them boards. So we may be six inches off the ground. All right, up there. Yeah, but not with this low of a trailer. I got some. They sent me some. Are you ready? Okay. So I had the top one. They got me running a brushed aluminum one to test it. It's holding up better than the clear coated one. The red bags? Yeah. Yeah, see? It's got to pick it up. It's got some level with that. Yeah, we're picking up a lot of weight. Dang, just enough. Four inches off ground. Yeah, you'll be good now. I wish I had that down there. We would roll under them bridges. They gonna come off? Do what? They gonna come off? Oh yeah, it's gonna come off there. I ain't gonna like what we're gonna see when it comes off. <laughs> it's it's gonna come off now. That seal. That seal could be melted on there, right? Yeah, it's coming.
Is there a Come out, I just had to burn the seal. Yeah. That is wild. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, that sucker got hot, didn't it? Pretty damn hot. And she was on fire when we stopped. Oh, yeah. I seen the smoke, I thought, hmm, I might have just pull over. Yeah, cat melted up that sight glass. Hey, Dad. Off of it. He's thinking we might need to get a hub. That sight he's, glass melted off and then a fire erupted. I'm like, oh. That, that's nice. a water. He'll put that thing up for a spare. Oh yeah, yeah, I wouldn't throw it out, but this thing got hot. I'll tell you, you drive them races out, I do it for something. All right guys, new spindle is going on. All right, we got her back together. We had to put a hub on it, new bearings, seals, races, the whole nine yards. So we went ahead and just done them all. All the seals, bearings, um, it, it already had new brakes on it. So we didn't have to change the brakes. They wasn't real old at all. Like literally one trip on the brakes. So hopefully everything's good now. I'm actually thinking since I've not taken this trailer now, so I was supposed to be in Texas today loading something for um, Heavy D. And once, thankfully this happened because I would have drove a thousand miles for no reason because once they got there and seen what we were getting, it turns out this thing is humongous. Guys, it's gonna be the biggest load that I've ever pulled, at least the widest load that I've ever pulled. So I've got to get surveys done. I've got to get all kinds of stuff done for, uh, to haul it so escorts permits uh full trip surveys so the trip that i have to run i have to get somebody to run that whole entire trip and give a survey to me and then i can give it to the permit company which then they will start ordering permits for me but you can't get the permits without the surveys 
So it would have been, I would have been stuck out there for a week getting all this stuff. And there's just a certain width that they consider a super load. And this is going to be considered a super load. So that'll be two super loads this week. Um, we got one right there. And then we've got one that we're getting ready to go pick up. So my plan is if the new trailer, so I've got another 10 wide coming. So if that trailer shows up before it's time to go, I'm gonna take it. If not, when that trailer gets back, we'll be taking it. I've gotta have two because I mean, this thing, that trailer there is booked up for the next, probably almost a year. So until, at least until um, everybody starts moving their boats back down south for, you know, the summertime or for the winter time. So right now we're moving everything up north and where everything's cold at. So now that springtime's coming and summer and all that stuff, we got a bunch of boats going to New York, New Jersey, uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, all them places up through there. They're all getting their boats brought home from Florida and they'll get through the summer. And then once that's done, once you know winter starts rolling back around again, we'll go pick all their boats back up and we'll take them back to Florida. So a lot of these boats will be the same trip, but there's a lot of new customers, especially since we got this bigger trailer. I mean, you guys can see that's a huge boat, but it is nothing compared to what that trailer can haul. It's not stretched at all right now. It is still at 53 foot and we can stretch it another 16 to 18 feet. So that trailer will take a lot bigger boat and I can still put the fourth axle on it. So a lot bigger one's coming and I hope you guys are excited for it. And tonight we got a cash days we're going to with the Mustang. So we'll probably film that and I'll get that video out soon too. So love you guys. We're gonna finish off there. We'll see you on the next one.